In this video, we're going to cover view nudge transformation type. This transformation type is meant to manipulate your canvas view and it gives you controls for positioning, zoom and rotation. And because you're actually controlling your canvas, your view, this is not view dependent like most of the other modes. So let's check it out. Start here with positioning and scale. So these first arrows, they will position your view according to how many pixels you have here in this slider, in the nudge pixel slider. So I'm moving my view by 20 pixels at a time right here. And this middle button will center uh, your view, your scene to the center of the canvas. So if I change my nudge pixels to a lower pixel distance, it will move by that pixel distance. And up here in the note bar, you get where your X and your Y is at the moment. And you can also set your X position. So if I say this 400, and I set these to 400 as well. So X and Y can be set by pressing these buttons and inputting a number. If I leave this at 10, as you can see, it's quite straightforward. And the middle button will center it. So down here in the zoom, you have the zoom in and zoom out buttons and they will zoom in and out by the amount set in this slider. So if I say 10 here, I'll be zooming in just by 10 zoom units. And you can see this slider changing and the note bar giving you the current zoom. So as I change it, this set zoom slider will change. And you can also come here to the set zoom slider and set the zoom. So I'm setting it like that. Zero, as you can see. Easy way to zoom in and zoom out. That's it for the positioning and scale part. So let's look at rotation. And rotation is a bit more complex. In its default settings, it behaves like uh, my free nudge axis plugin. Well, it has some better controls for it. And we also have canvas drag. So let's look at the default settings first. Now, I believe uh, ZBrush uses Euler rotation and Euler rotation suffers from gimbal lock, which means that uh, when you get to a certain rotation, something needs to be flipped. Well, let's not get too te technical about this. Uh, I just like to say that even though this is the best solution at the moment to do these kind of rotations in the, in the ZBrush view, uh, it's still not a perfect one. Using the default settings, the, the way this rotates is, for example, let me go to a front view here and I start rotating, for example, here on the Y and it rotates like that and that's great. And you can see up here in the note bar, the rotation numbers. So as you can see, they're not exact numbers. As you, you can see here, it's 14.99999, which is almost 15 degrees, but they're not exact points. And when I come back here, I got 0. Da, 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 da on the Y. Now this snap function helps improving this. And the way it works is if I say, I want a snap value of one, now, when I go and rotate my view here, you can see that now it goes straight to zero and it's a perfect front view because uh, it, it has one unit of difference right there and the snap function will take care of that. Now let, let me try to make something that will not bring snap zero. As you can see this, this type of rotation when I rotate on the X, it's like uh, it's doing this. Okay. And canvas drag is a bit different. Okay. So now I have, for example, on the X, I have minus six. So if I do a snap of seven here and I go back here, you can see that because the number was below seven, it snapped to zero. So that, that's how snap works. The main reason for snap is basically for canvas drag. Now canvas drag is an emulation of uh, dragging the canvas, but it works. It's better to see it with the gizmo one, because as you can see on this type of rotation, on the normal type of rotation, when I use X here, it goes up and down. So it's like 
uh, the default it's like you're dragging here on the canvas but the canvas drag even though it uses canvas drag it uh, actually follows the gizmo so if I turn canvas drag on and I start doing an X rotation as you can see it follows the gizmo direction so I, the blue axis here the Z axis is right there so if I start doing the rotation here as you can see it follows the gizmo and here we got uh, X is not really zero and Y is not really zero so if I make this one and then rotate to another place okay right another way you can actually set perfectly the what's going on up here on the your rotation is using the set buttons and the round buttons if I do some rotation like this and I have for example Z is 8 point something I can actually come here press Z and say I just want 8 in Z of course not always it was gonna give me 8 because ZBrush will try to give me some different numbers you can always try to use round instead and now we got 8 so round is just gonna round the number up or down accordingly so we also have gizmo focus and gizmo focus uh, is if for example I have a different sub tool here and I'm just gonna grab these eyes here and move them there so if I turn on gizmo focus instead of uh, rotating around the center of the scene I'll be rotating around where the sub tool the selected sub tool is now the rotation settings here I just like the other rotation settings for the other plugins you can see the, the amount of degrees showing up in the pop-up message and canvas drag doesn't work doesn't cope very well with different values than these guys here 15 45 90 135 and 180 so values below 15 with canvas drag are not gonna work so well so what you can do is you can use canvas drag for major uh, changes and then if you if you want to rotate for example for by one degree you, I would advise to turn off canvas drag and then rotate by one degree but remember this rotation is a bit different